Okay, kid, you successfully opened the shop in Manhattan, and that's no mean feat. Most ponies might wonder what it feels like. Here's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna interview you and your friends so I can paint a picture of how it all came together. A word picture, mind you, not an actual picture. Any questions? Well, I was wondering- Let's get started. Mrs. Rarity, you've got shops all over Equestria, but this was your first time trying to make it in the big city. What made you think you could tackle it on your own? Well, I wouldn't say all over Equestria. I just have two other boutiques, one in my hometown of Ponyville and one in Canterlot. Uh, still, when I decided to open this one, I was nothing but confident. Let's just say that if I could choose, I probably wouldn't do it that way again. <laughs> well, it wasn't the funnest party ever. It was a plum pocket pick question disaster. After a lifetime of awesome, I think every pun is allowed to mess up every now and then, right? Wait, are you writing this down? Um, it didn't go exactly how I thought it would, but it, um, started out all right. Mr. Stripes owns the building. He's a very pleasant landlord. Although he can be pushy at times. Okay, all the time. You're on the dark teeth! What was she thinking? And Smokey Jr. found a nice home in the crawl space behind the building. But Mr. Stripes demolished it, so they were temporarily camped out in the back until they found a new place to live. Uh, turns out there's a club pony party palace upstairs. Turns out there's a club pony party palace upstairs! Uh, Bones today listen to that so-called music far too loud. I realize that makes me sound like an old mare. But this is business! Only Twilight could make a dancey mix about sweeping. I mean, how lame is that? Yeah, it wasn't even catchy. Nope. You know how most stores have a little jingle bell when the door opens? <coughs> I thought we should have something with a little more pizzazz. So I installed one of Danny's antique horns. <coughs> well, opening a store in Manhattan is a pretty big deal. It's natural that Reddy would be a little stressed about how it was going since it wasn't going well. Still, I think she handled it all right. Yeah, making copies of yourself always sounds like a great idea. But before you know it, you're like in a room with 50 Pinkie Pies watching paint dry. What would she do without us? Huh, let me think. Darlings, I'm absolutely doomed. Doomed, doomed. <laughs> I sound just like her. Hey, you're not running this down, are you? I don't know the first thing about clothes. Pretty much all I can do is look at something and tell you if it's clothes or not. This chair? <laughs> not clothes. Personally, I think spoon clothes isn't such a bad idea. Useful too. Eating soup, staring gumbo, digging little holes. When you write the story, could you maybe skip over the part where we locked the rarity in the window display? The whole place organized by style, cross-referenced by size, and reverse indexed by fabric. She'll be able to find anything in three seconds flat. <laughs> it was some of my best work. Honestly, they were all pretty slow. But they finished the race. Plus, they know a lot more about fabric than I did. So I hired them all. The way I see it, Rarity designs fashion. DJ Pong 3 designs beats. What better combination than a boutique dance club? After a quick bath, they were more than willing to help. Huh. Dodge's spoon clothes ain't such a bad idea.